draw to mind a pain point in your life right now. Maybe it is financial. Maybe it is domestic or professional. Something that is not resolved that might be bothering you. And as you think about this, just think about the people involved and the emotions that go with that. And possibly the labels that you would put to that, like unfairness or blame, regret. And as you think about this thing that might be bothering you, just notice if there is contraction in response to this or not between your eyebrows. Noticing your jaw. Perhaps noticing if you've stopped swallowing or if your throat's dry. Noticing in response to this the depth or shallowness of your breathing. Noticing your gut. And maybe any other areas of your body that might be responding to this. Okay, and now you can open your eyes and if you need to, just shake it out. Just by show of hands, how many of you noticed a response in your body to this thought in at least one place? Two. Three. All of them. Okay. This is why I start with the physiological, because some people can have the quantum, some people can have the spiritual, some people can have the science, but you all are here in a body, and you cannot deny that. So what did you just experience? You experienced a reaction. Whatever thought you brought up, minus if it's a physical ailment, or physical disease that you have currently running in your body. Separate from that, whatever thought you brought up is not in this room. It either happened in the past, maybe as recent as right before you got here, or it's waiting for you when you leave. So it's in the future, but it's not right here, right now. But your thought triggered your body because your body doesn't know past, present, from future. It just knows the thought uh-oh, engage, react. So even though you don't need to know the specific beliefs, you don't need to know where that belief came from or the layers underneath it or anything about it. You just need to know that spun me into a fight or flight threat response because a figment in my mind said so. So that's what I do with the officers, is they don't, we don't, it, this is not therapy. I'm not their therapist. I'm not anybody's therapist. We don't have to dive into this, to the pictures and the trauma. All we have to do is find the tiniest little thread that causes us to unravel with it and let's go rewrite a story. And so that's the beauty of, of, of the neurosculpting is we don't have to know the belief behind the belief behind the belief. Some of us will discover that in healing and some of us never will. And it doesn't need to happen for your body to release it and rewrite it. 